Hi fellow noobs, good evening. Uh, today we're going to talk about what you can do if you want to get data from within a nested table. If you want to get the items within that table and let's say you want to combine it into one uh, item within our main table. So for example, I prepared a set of two tables here. So um, so we have one employees table here. So we have employee one, two, three. And then we have a requests table here. So on the requests table, let's assume this is, um, so let's say this is our tickets data or service request data for uh, for this table. And then if we take a look at it, we have the ticket number here, and then we have the tasks, and then we have a table within our this table. So, so this is our nested table. And then in this table, we have the assigned employees. So for example, on this one, we have employee one and two. For the second one, we have employee one and three. And um, so what if I want to get the employee email in one uh, item? So let's say if I want to send out an email or a mail merge, I can use that email to send those out. One thing we can do is we can click on expand that table, then unselect, and then select email. And then this will give out this result. Unfortunately, for this one, uh, it created a duplicate for every ticket number. So this is not our desired output. We want to get the email in one item. So we'll remove this step. And then, so we'll combine uh, different functions to get our desired output. So for this one, we'll do them one by one. So We'll uh, click on add column and then custom column. Then first we'll use a table dot select columns. And then here we want to select the table. So this is our table. Okay, let's close that out. So we have a reference so you can see it. So this is our, the Remember, this is a column you want that we want to get, and this this is the table. So we'll click on Add Column, then Custom Column, and then Table. Dot Select Columns. So if we look at the helper here, so Table. Dot Select Columns needs two things: it needs a table, and it needs a column. So our table part here is this one. Remember, so this is the All column. So we'll double click all and then comma. Then we need the column. So for this one, we have to type it. So uh, quotation and then employee email. So this is case sensitive. We have to type it as it is shown below. And then we'll add a closing parenthesis and we'll see what it gives us. So, so this is the output for that custom column or the original one is this one we had the original tables and then from from here you only get the employee email so we can expand this again but it still gives out the same result from earlier so again still not the expected output that we want so we'll close this out again then we'll edit this one then from here we'll transform it to a list table dot to list then open parenthesis and then close parenthesis and then click on OK. All right, so let's look at the output this time. So it says here it is now a list. The original one is this one. So it looks similar from the previous one, but this is actually different. So when we added the table dot to list, it basically transformed that table into a list. And then from here we can expand it again. If you select new rows, it's going to do the previous uh, results that we get. So it's creating a duplicate for every employee email. One thing you could do is so click on extract values instead, and then select a delimiter. You can choose, for example, semicolon. And then so basically we get the expected output that we want. All right. 
so if we take a look at the M code here so basically what M did it created a list transform then a text.combine well, we can actually so basically it created another step from the added custom a uh, simpler one would be uh, wrapping it within the text combine on the previous step already so instead of doing this what we can do is so we'll uh, delete the step we'll edit the original custom column that we add and then we'll put in the text.combine here text.combine and open parenthesis then we'll type in the separator here uh, for example the semicolon so I added a quotation semicolon and a quotation and then the closing parenthesis and then yeah so we get the same result but without the additional step and so so this is our desired output so if you want a space for example you can add space there and then from here you can export this as you wish and again you can use it for mail merge or for sending out emails with to the multiple employees and uh, that's basically it i uh, hope you found this useful if you have any questions uh, please feel free to type it in the comments thank you and uh, good night